What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Call of Duty Mobile up and running on your laptop or PC. Now it was recently released for Android and iOS worldwide and I've been enjoying it on my Samsung Galaxy phones. Now this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, a pretty expensive tablet but it runs it at full speed. And I understand that there's some people out there that just can't afford a good enough phone to run this at full speed or even any decently playable frame rates. But you might own a laptop or PC that can handle this game just fine using an application called Bluestacks. And today, I'm going to show you how to get Call of Duty Mobile up and running on your PC or laptop. And with this method, you'll be able to use a keyboard and mouse or a controller. It's really up to you. But before we get started, I do want to mention that when running these games in an emulator like Bluestacks, there's always a chance of getting banned. So I always use a secondary account. I never trust my main account on these Android emulators. So I just wanted to give you that word of warning before we get started. Another thing to note is the specifications of your laptop or PC. I personally recommend at least a dual core Intel CPU at 2.3 to 2.5 gigahertz and at least three gigabytes of RAM for this to run at full speed. There are tweaks we can do. We can change the resolution and everything like that to try to get it as good as possible. But keep in mind, a $100 laptop might not run this at full speed either. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to our Windows PC and get this set up. All right, so first things first, we need to download Bluestacks and install it on our PC or laptop. Link for this is in the description. I'm going to download it here. It's an EXE. We're going to start it up and we're going to install Bluestacks. When Bluestacks is finished installing, it will automatically start up. It's going to take about two to three minutes for the first boot, so just let it finish up. When that's finished, we're going to sign into Google Play so we can access the Google Play Store. It's just like signing into an Android device. Basically, that's what we have here. This is an Android emulator for a Windows PC. We're going to go ahead and sign in with our email and then input our password. And now we can access Google Play from within Bluestacks. Right at the top here, we already have Call of Duty Mobile, and that's what we want to install. So we're going to click Install. You're going to download it just like you would on your Android smartphone or tablet. Call of Duty Mobile is finished downloading, but there's a couple things we need to change. Over here on the left-hand side, we have the Settings icon. We're going to go into here. At the top, we can change the resolution. I'm set to 1080. If you're lagging, go down to 720. My DPI is set to 240. You can get it a little sharper by setting it to 320, but 240 works good with 1080p displays. The engine. Now this is kind of important depending on what kind of PC or laptop you're running this on. If you're using a lower end AMD GPU, try DirectX if OpenGL is lagging, but OpenGL works really well on Nvidia and built-in Intel GPUs. Performance can also be changed. Low, one core, one gig of memory. Medium, two cores, two gigs of memory, and high, four CPU cores and three gigs of memory. That's what I have mine set on for this machine. Now the next step is very important for playing Call of Duty Mobile. We want to go to Advanced, and we can choose a predefined profile. So I'm set for the OnePlus 5, but I'm going to go with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I'm going to save changes. Now when we start an Android game or app, it's going to think that we're running it on a Samsung Galaxy S8. All that's left to do is start up Call of Duty Mobile. This part is very self-explanatory. We have a tutorial here, combat, general, movement, and you can set these to a controller. Let's say you want to play with an Xbox One controller connected to your PC over Bluetooth or USB. You'll select the move forward key and you can change it from here, but it's already pre-set up for a keyboard and mouse and that's how I want to play this game. We're going to allow access. I'm going to go full screen. I'm going to sign in as a guest. And we can now start playing Call of Duty Mobile on our PC. I'm going to click continue. Now this game is set up for touch controls and as you can see, my mouse is just moving around. Press F1 on your keyboard and that's going to lock the mouse cursor. So now we don't have to hold the left mouse button or the right mouse button to do anything. We can move and aim with our mouse. W, A, S, D, forward, back, left, right. So we're gonna go pick this up and that's gonna be F, as you can see on screen, that's where the button is located. And to fire, I have mine set up for my left mouse. 
A lot of people are going to be playing on auto fire, and that's totally fine. Reload is R. But basically, all the keyboard combinations you need to know to play Call of Duty Mobile on PC are listed on screen, and if you set this up with a controller, they'll also be listed there. But since you set it up yourself, you should remember what's fire, what's left, what's right, and so on and so on. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this tutorial, and I'll get into my first game of Call of Duty Mobile on PC. Alright, so here we are. I'm about to start my first match of Call of Duty Mobile on PC. In order to go full screen, we can actually click this right here, toggle full screen mode, or you can press F11 on your keyboard. Remember to lock your mouse by pressing F1, and you can start playing. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching, it's actually really easy to get Call of Duty Mobile up and running on your laptop or PC. And keep in mind, Bluestacks just isn't for Call of Duty Mobile. Since we have access to the Google Play Store, we can pretty much install anything and play it here either with a controller or a keyboard. I've been using Bluestacks for a long time, actually since the release of Pokemon Go, then PUBG, and now Call of Duty Mobile. Overall, performance has definitely increased on lower end laptops, but like I mentioned at the beginning, Make sure you have at least a dual core processor at 2.3 to 2.5 gigahertz with at least three gigabytes of RAM. And if you're still experiencing lag, remember we have the settings down here for resolution, DPI, and the engine. So there's lots of little tweaks you can do to get performance up to par on your machine. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Link for Bluestacks is in the description, but like always, Thanks for watching.